Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. How deep do corn and soybean roots get in just a week, Darren? That's well, the topic for our farm base. When you started talking there, I thought you were going to say, how deep can they possibly get? And you know what? Roots can go very deep. They can go several feet deep very easily and commonly out in fields if they are not restricted. But how quickly do they get to a pretty significant depth? That's why we looked at just one week and how fast corn and soybean roots grow, just to kind of compare things. Okay, so this spring, just to give you a little background, we did a little test in our office and we were actually testing some different fertilizer products and salt levels and things like that. But we built a box that had a plexiglass front so we were able to see root growth and what those roots look like during this entire experiment. Well one of the things we never really even thought much about at the time but once you step back and say oh wow we had really fast root growth I didn't realize that roots grew quite that fast so here were our results. Now granted this is in an office at 70 degrees okay so I realize it's not a field situation but still in seven days just seven days from planting not seven days from emergence seven days from planting we had corn roots that were 10 and a half inches deep and soybean roots that were nine inches deep. That seems like a lot, Darren. Well, it is pretty impressive. When you look at how we're placing the plant nutrition or plant fertility out there, we're typically putting fertility down, oh, about six to eight inches below the seed. So you think if we're getting that far in well, just a, in a week of warm situation, yeah. a strip till. In a week of warm soil conditions, that's pretty impressive and that explains why we're getting that good boost from the fertilizer that quick. Well, the thing that I was thinking more about is water tables out in field because in fields all across the country we had very high water tables this year because we had so much moisture we often saw water tables at a foot at two feet well if you think from when you plant it and maybe you plant it the first of may and a lot of times you say well as long as things kind of dry out in june we should be fine no you're not here's my whole point once those roots hit the water table you're done okay so if you had a water table at a foot in just over a week from planting, you're done. Your roots aren't growing any deeper. Is that what you want? No, it's not what you want. I think that's part of the reason. We've talked about root worms and nematodes and all these issues on recent shows as far as why some corn fields are falling over, why they don't have good corn roots. It's the same thing in corn, soybeans, wheat, any crop. You've got to have that water table a little lower because the roots grow fast and grow deep. Well, the other side of that problem, Brian, is if you don't get deep roots, you're going to have problems the rest of the year. You can't really make up for that if you have shallow right. roots early in the season. Yeah, they will continue to grow down, but you set yourself up for a poor stand for crops that just can't deal with a drought situation later in the season when their roots are all shallow where the ground is going to dry out and getting nutrients into that plant is that much tougher because the root system isn't big and expansive throughout the soil. All those things can be big issues for farmers. So we often talk about how crops don't like wet feet and I guess the reason why we're talking about this today and how quickly roots can grow down in a soil is just to so understand why because again roots are not going to grow into a water table and if roots in a week or in two weeks can hit a foot deep water table that's not a good thing you've got to have that water table down a little lower you've got to manage water on your farm if you want top yields hey the other thing Brian we didn't talk about is diseases when you think about it, if you've got a plant that you've basically stunted by stopping its root growth and the roots are sitting there in cold wet water in the early spring you're gonna have diseases getting into that root system that are gonna show up later on in the season like stalk rots or phytophthora root rot many different diseases can impact the various crops that farmers will plant or even that you'll plant in your garden. All these things can be solved by getting that drainage right so your crop doesn't have issues throughout the season. Getting quick root growth on plants is a great thing when it's your crop, but when it's your weed, that's not a good thing. We've got a tough to control weed of the week coming up later in the show. Can you identify it? 